So here we're back from the hunt and driving along, driving to work. And I have a few things I need to address from my last video. If you notice, I am here still in the swagger wagon, sand swagger. So still driving a minivan. I actually went to a four day hunt driving a minivan. I actually had to go to different spots while everyone's in their Ford F-250s, their Super Duties, and their trailers, and here Mike comes along in the dang grocery getter. But I do want to address a couple of the comments that were made from my last video about the Swagger Wagon. I don't care how big a tires you put on a minivan. I don't care how much you lift it. I don't care if you go with the matte black paint it's still a minivan period and yes mrs b i understand that a pilot can hold a lot of stuff even your gaggle of awesomeness but this is going to sound sexist and i, I don't care it's just reality women can drive minivans period there's nothing wrong don't bat an eyelash when you see a woman driving a minivan you see a man driving a minivan, you look over and say, what, what'd that guy do? What happened to that guy? As evidenced by, I was, I was driving up, and I was passing through Tucson, and a attractive woman in a Jeep looked over at me and had a big smile on her face. And I'm like, how are you doing? I quickly realized that she wasn't smiling at the guy in the camo and the well-worn hat. We'll talk about that in a minute. She was laughing at me. She saw a guy in a well-worn hat and camo driving a minivan. As if to say, who the hell is he trying to fool? There's just no swagger in a minivan. You can't. I mean, this thing was smelling like hunt. It was smelling like dog. It was smelling like man. It was smelling like campfire still. It's a minivan just how it goes now let's get to this hat I posted a picture of a hat and men wear hats men wear hats for two reasons first reason is that we don't want to mess with our hair no man wants to comb his hair anyway and if you see not a lot of combing going on it's not that big of a deal bad hair days in me don't really exist second reason is to keep the sun out of rice what a baseball cap was meant to do that's what it was meant for so we don't have stickers on it it's not a fashion statement good lord we don't have a tag hanging from it it's not flat build we round that thing out so it shields our eyes and our face from the sun if you see us wearing our hats backwards two reasons we either need to look up a lot and whatever the heck we're doing or building because we're men. But we want to keep the sun off the back of our necks. As it was intended to do. This is the lid that caused the stir. You notice, it's pretty sweaty. This hat is holding more of my DNA than most hats ever. Look at this thing. Is this a warning hat? Don't wash that thing. Scientists could clone me from that hat. As a matter of fact, they already did. I'm work Mike. Real Mike's actually fishing right now. Like he should be. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Oh my gosh. So much fun. But men, men don't wash hats. You break in a hat. You own a hat. The hat becomes part of you. It becomes part of what you wear when you're doing what you need to wear a hat for. If you're not doing anything where you need to wear a hat, like driving to work, don't wear a hat. No reason. Unless you don't want to mess with coming here, like I said. Here was the cool part about this hunt. And this is the point I really want to make because Sir Django went out there with me. And this was his very first big hunt. And I was so nervous. I was so nervous because there's some very experienced hunting dogs that are going to be out there. And Django, first day, it was a puppy. He was trying to get with the other dogs. He likes the ladies. Oh, does he like the ladies? And 
he was just focused on that. We're going to skip over the fact that I lost him for three hours, and I mean lost him, in 25 miles of awesome wilderness. I lost him. Here's a pro tip. When you're using a, a training collar, it helps to turn it on before you let your dog wander off, especially your puppy. But he found his way back to the trailer because there were female dogs at the trailer. He likes the ladies. He likes the older ladies, too. He's into that. And these ladies were having nothing to do with Django. They were like, mm-mm, little kid. But the second day, he figured it out. He was hunting hard. We were hunting hard. Obviously, we were hunting hard. And he started to figure it out. And he became the most well-behaved dog that I've ever had. The third day, even more so. Some would say that it's because he was tired and wore out a little bit. I disagree with that. Every dog needs a job. Every dog needs a task. Do you have a dog that's just tearing up your house? It's just an absolute nuisance when family and friends come over? That dog probably doesn't have a job. His own job. Django now knows his job. His job is to hunt birds. It's his job. And it becomes my job to give him that attention and to really do those kinds of things with him on a regular basis. And i not kidding, got him home. His brother Boba is just tearing things up, peeing all over the house, being a, a crazy dog. And we're gonna fix that when we send him to Coach Tony. But if you look at Django and how he's acting right now, he is a perfect little angel because he found his job. So having a dog like this, especially a sporting dog, labs especially, oh goodness sakes. Labs, pointers, hounds, Give him a job. It could be playing fetch at 6 o'clock every evening. That's their job. And they get their job. And they focused on their job. And they know their job is coming. And they know they get to go do their job and then rest of the night. That is very, very important. A lot of fun, too. And don't just get a dog to have a dog. Get a dog to play with. Get a dog to be part of the family. Get a dog to invest in. It's a good time. You'll have fun with it. I promise you will. So, that was it. One successful hunt. Learned a lot about swagger wagons. <sighs> Saying swagger. Learned a lot about hats. <laughs> and learned a lot about dogs. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you guys are having a great week.